Much cooler weather across central and eastern Kentucky. It is so nice on a Friday evening. I've decided to take the show on the road. A huge announcement today about the University of Louisville. How quickly Governor Bevan plans to reorganize the Board of Trustees. And the investigation continues into the possible motives of the shooter in the Orlando nightclub massacre. We have the latest. This is WKYT News at 4. And welcome to WKYT News at 4. Sam Dick and Andrea Walker reporting. It is Friday. Are you Yay. excited about that? <laughs> I am too. Uh, we're going to go into the weekend on a cooler note, and it's only going to get better really from here. This is a live picture from downtown Lexington. Plenty of sun and normal June temperatures are in store for us. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. He is live at Lexington Green getting ready for the kickoff to Lakeside Live. Chris? Exactly right. The stage is up, and here at 6 o'clock, the stage is going to be rocking with Lakeside Live here at the Lexington Green. Nicholasville Road here in Lexington. Come on out. It's the beginning of the season of Lakeside Live. It starts tonight. We'll be back here tomorrow night, 6 o'clock as well. And as you can see, we've got everything already out here. We've got Point Seven and the Lauren Meek Band who are ready to kick things off coming up at 6 o'clock this evening. So folks are going to be out here, and you know what? This is going to be every Friday and Saturday night this summer through the month of August. WKYT, glad to be a proud partner here at Lakeside Live, and uh, obviously the lake is behind me. What an absolutely gorgeous weather day to kick things off out here. We've got some clouds. That's not a bad thing. Helping to keep those temperatures down into the upper 70s to around 80 into much of central and eastern Kentucky. We look at those cams from across the area, and as you can see, high 70s to low 80s. Now, this is coming a day after we were into the low and in some cases mid 90s. So, eastern Kentucky has been cooler than areas to our north and west today. Where uh, many areas, eastern Kentucky, have stayed in the 70s. I don't think too many folks will complain. Only complaint in eastern Kentucky may be from a scattered shower or two. And as we mentioned yesterday, today's weather coming against the grain, heading in from east. To west, so a little shower action into parts of eastern and southeastern Kentucky, a possibility through sundown. But as we continue to look ahead, if you're out this evening, most areas stay dry. That slight chance for a shower and temperatures that drop through the 70s and will wind up into the upper 60s. Overall, weather headlines for the next few days gorgeous looking weekend. And then as we go into next week, as nice as it is now, I see some big changes that may bring some very cool air into town. We'll touch on that when I come back here at Lakeside Live with your seven day forecast guys in about 15 minutes. Things getting ready to get rocking here. All right. Thank you, Chris. A major shakeup announced today by Kentucky Governor Matt Bevan. He's removing every member of the Board of Trustees from the University of Louisville. And he says that President James Ramsey has also agreed to step down at UofL. As Caitlin Sentner reports, the governor says the university needs a fresh start. It's our top story at four. Some big changes coming for the University of Louisville. Governor Bevan wasn't shy about his intentions when it comes to this university. The board as it exists right now is not uh, particularly functional. Uh, its dysfunction has precluded it from doing what its responsibility is. University President James Ramsey will stand down, and as of today, the governor will reorganize the Board of Trustees. The board has been dissolved, and in the coming weeks, the governor will select 10 new members. Three trustees will remain the same. He's asked the Council on Post Secondary Education to give him a list of 30 people to choose from for those 10 spots. It's being done to improve the efficiency of the, of the board, uh, the economy of the board, and frankly, to improve the administration. Uh, of the university. That is the purpose of the board. It has not been able to successfully fulfill that mission. Governor Bevan wants the new board in place within the next two weeks. Coming up on WKYT at 5 o'clock, we talk to students that are impacted. In Louisville, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Governor Bevan said the decision has nothing to do with the board members individually. Those board members addressed media this afternoon saying it is critical the U of L Foundation have a new president for the university to truly have a fresh start. On Twitter this afternoon, Ramsey thanked the governor for addressing difficult issues that are crucial to moving the state forward. 
FBI agents spending an hour today at the mosque. Orlando gunman Omar Mateen attended, questioning officials about Mateen's relationship with other members of the Islamic Center and the community. It's one more way investigators are piecing together more of Mateen's life, from his difficult days in high school to an overseas trip to what he was doing on social media during Sunday's shooting rampage. Emily Schmidt reports. As the gunfire began at the Pulse nightclub, camera phones went from capturing carefree moments to recording what Miguel Leva feared were his final moments in a crowded bathroom stall. I felt like if we didn't make it out of there, if we were all going to die, that somebody needed to see what happened and, and how it all went down. He hoped it would also convince worried family members to stop calling. So we were just trying to you know, keep our phones quiet on silent so he wouldn't come back in there and, and shoot us. The city of Orlando says 166 911 calls came in during the shooting, while gunman Omar Mateen used his phone inside. FBI investigators say Mateen posted to Facebook about coming ISIS attacks, and sources say he repeatedly texted his wife, Noor Salman. She also tried calling him several times, apparently after realizing her husband could be the gunman. There are more details of Mateen's past. His high school says he was suspended 48 days. He went to Saudi Arabia in 2012 as part of a group trip organized by the Islamic Center at NYU. The center says no one specifically remembered him. Weeks before the shooting, a gun store owner says employees refused to sell Mateen body armor. He was turned away before they got his name. We did contact authorities and let them know we just had a suspicious person that was in here. So glad you're alive, man. Now survivors are meeting their rescuers while mourners go to funerals and an investigation prepares to move into its second week. I'm Emily Schmidt reporting. Now thousands of people are expected to visit Louisville this weekend for the Kentuckyana Pride Festival. Organizers are stepping up security after the Orlando attack. Louisville's mayor Greg Fisher announced he will walk in the Pride Parade. Organizers are not saying exactly how many officers and private security will be working at this weekend's Pride Festival, but they'll be on high alert searching all bags before festival goers enter. Bags, of course, things like that. So really, if you don't need it, don't bring it because it's going to be searched before you enter the premises. And we'll have more on the preparations for the Pride Festival in Louisville on WKYT News coming up at 530. Some of the precautions at next weekend's Pride Festival in Lexington include extra police. Organizers are expecting 25,000 people to attend. A meeting between police and members of Lexington's LGBTQ community took place this morning. The meeting involved owners of the city's gay and lesbian bars. The gathering was already in the works but was moved up after Sunday shooting in Orlando. Police Chief Mark Barnard talked to us about it this morning while at our studios for a taping of Kentucky Newsmakers. We wanted to make sure that we we're touching base. They knew who the officers were in case someone needed to respond and just opening a line of communication. So this meeting has been planned prior with the LGBTQ community leadership. It is something they'd asked for, but with the events occurring this past week, we wanted to make sure that we moved it up and with the festival and everybody knew who everybody was. We'll bring you reaction from those in attendance at today's meeting coming up on WKYT at 5 and 6. In the wake of an alligator attack that killed a child, Walt Disney World reportedly plans to put up alligator warning signs around the waterways in all of its parks and resorts in Florida. No swimming signs were posted at the resort where the attack took place, but no gator warnings were included. All beach areas at Disney World are currently closed as search teams look for and capture alligators in the lake where the attack happened. We are working on a number of other stories for you on WKYT starting at 5.30. Training kicked in for an off-duty Lexington police officer during an overnight drive-by shooting. Lexington police say two men in a car shot at another man on Judy Lane off Paris Pike. It happened right in front of an officer's home who heard the shot and jumped into action. The officer obviously was scared, though, because his family, including a small child, was in the front room when this occurred. So he actually thought the shots were being fired into his residence, um, which is when he ran outside and saw that it was actually a neighbor's residence that was being shot. The officer chased after the gunman. Police caught up with them two miles away on August Drive. Travantes Lillard and Xavier Johnson were arrested. Johnson is charged with fleeing and evading. Lillard is charged with wanton endangerment. 
Police have started a search for a missing man. It's been nearly a month since anyone has seen or heard from Dustin Lair of Monticello. Police fear he might be in danger. The last time someone heard from Lair was in a phone message to his mother on May 28th. His mother then reported him missing on June 13th. Police say she waited so long to do that because he was known to be gone for a while, but police do believe that Dustin Lair is likely somewhere in this community. Our investigation at this point is kind of leading us to believe that uh, Dustin is, is not in very good health at this point. We, uh, we're, we're starting to hear that there, there may have been some bad things that have happened to him. We'll have the latest on the investigation on WKYT News at 4.30. The power in a downtown building had to be shut off after a car crashed into it. The car was on Vine Street when it failed to turn the corner and struck several concrete planters, then hit a building. Police say the car slung one of the planters into the front window of an office. Luckily, there was no one near the window at the time. One person from the car was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll have more on the damage it caused to the building. Are you among the growing number of people who are seeing their grocery bills go down? Details next in Money Watch. And Microsoft getting into the weed business, how they're finding new customers in cannabis. It's not too late to buy. Ashley Home Store Secret Sale has been extended. Time is running out to get huge savings or no interest until 2022. Don't miss our extended hours Friday and Saturday. Absolutely and Sunday at Ashley Home Store. You've still got time to save big with Smart Bonus Cash from Ford. Now get 0% financing for 60 months plus $17.50 cash and an extra thousand Smart Bonus Cash on Fusion, Escape, and Focus. Ford, America's best-selling brand with big savings. 0% financing for 60 months plus $17.50 cash and an extra thousand Smart Bonus Cash. But supplies are limited. So hurry while selection is best and see your local Ford dealer today. You know us for carpet cleaning, but Stanley Steamer also cleans tile and ground for a fresh look. Call now about our tile cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Being there, day in, day out. That's loyalty. And it's worth something. Like savings on AAA auto insurance. Just for being loyal. Hey, honey, mm -hmm. you remember to look the Buick, right? Of course I do. I'll never forget that. The Buick Remote Link app, now available in every Buick. You close all the apartment windows, too. Come on. Really? You're the best. Mm -hmm. Pay no interest for five years, plus get 1900 purchase bonus cash on the 2016 Encore. Visit your Bluegrass Buick dealer today. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. As America's longest lasting pickups, Ram's continued leadership is eye opening. Like Ram 3500 with the best towing and the best torque. And Ram 1500 with the best fuel economy. It's no wonder more people are driving Ram trucks than ever before. Join us now during the Ram Drive and Discover event. Returning FCA lessees finance and get $10,000 in total values on the purchase of a 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. It's not too late to buy. Ashley Home Store Secret Sale has been extended. Time is running out to get huge savings or no interest until 2022. Don't miss our extended hours Friday and Saturday, absolutely, and Sunday at Ashley Home Store. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Well, maybe you've noticed grocery price prices have fallen by nearly 1% in the past year, and that's according to new government data. And that begins today's Money Watch. It's mostly because global demand is down and supply is up. Meat, fish, milk, bread, and egg prices are all down, but fresh fruit prices are up. 
Philadelphia has become the first major American city to have a soda tax. The city council approved a 1.5 cent tax per ounce on all sugary and diet beverages. The city plans to make $90 million from the new tax in the first year. City officials say that money will be used to pay for pre-kindergarten community schools and recreation centers. The soda industry is expected to sue over the tax. Microsoft getting into the marijuana business. The tech giant will offer software to help states track pot sales. This makes Microsoft one of the first big companies to wade into the marijuana industry as states start to legalize medical and recreational use of it. It's another sign of improving relations between Cuba and the United States. Dish Network partnering with Sling TV to launch a new channel delivering Cuban movies and TV shows right to your living room. The company say that Cuba Max TV will be the first in the U.S. to showcase programs and music videos by Cuban artists. Fun for the whole family at Free Friday Flicks tonight. I'm Deanne Stevens being left out, out and about here at Jacobson Park. It's my turn. <laughs> You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sayersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. Do you need a little cha-ching? We'll buy your vehicle right here at Courtesy. No matter what make, model, or condition, we'll beat any written offer by $300. So bring your vehicle and your title to Courtesy's Car Buying Center. And we'll show you the money. And that's what we like to call... Sweet! This is the mom biz, and ladies, it's showtime. You've got soccer practice, swim meets, drum lessons, play dates, and all the other stuff that keeps your family humming. But you know what matters? The healthy stuff. Full tummies. That's why you've got Lando Frost Premium Lunch Meat, a simple, protein-packed, good-form lunch. And that's how you get a mom groove. Groove with me now. Hey. Lando Frost, they're a family brand. You're a family. See what I'm getting at? It's not too late to save 50 to 70% off name brand furniture at Suff's Furniture and Oriental Rugs as part of the estate sale of Albert Sandy Suffoletta continues. All of our inventory in Georgetown must be sold at great savings before this location is sold. And you can save at both the Georgetown and Nicholasville locations. Plus, every night, both stores will be restocked from our warehouses until everything is sold. Our Georgetown store will be sold, and we will continue to serve you at Suff's on Nicholasville Road. Hurry in for the best selection of fine furniture at Suff's estate inventory sale. Well, I would recommend Critchfield Meats to anybody that's looking for a quality product and a quality shopping experience. I've never walked in the front door when I wasn't greeted. They appreciate my business, and I appreciate that as a customer. Bud's Gun Shop and Range is Kentucky's largest gun store and indoor shooting range for all your firearm needs. Featuring products such as the top-selling XDS and the all-new XD Mod 2 from Springfield Armory. Located on Industry Road behind Eastland Shopping Center. If it's time to enhance the exterior of your home, visit Landscapers Corner. From our large selection of natural stone, you'll find what's perfect for your project. The best selection of stone pavers, edging materials for your garden, and stone for walls, patios, and more are available at Landscapers Corner. You'll find quality products and affordable pricing on the landscaping materials essential for your yard and garden. I'm Elaine Pence, owner of Landscapers Corner. We look forward to seeing you soon, and as always, we truly appreciate your business. See a new you at Reflections Med Spa and Wellness Center. Don't miss our cool sculpting event. Call today for limited booking and free assessments. Reflections Med Spa and Wellness Center. Say hello to a new you. WKYT News is brought to you by Paul Miller Ford. Drive happy. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. And as you can see, the Ducks are already getting in on a front row seat here at Lakeside Live. They are gathering. All right, maybe folks throwing some bread in there may have something to do with it. But still, they're gathering to get a front row seat for what is about to go down here. It is the first night 
of the summer season of Lakeside Live here at the Lexington Green, Nicholasville Road. And as you can see, the stage is up. We've got point seven getting ready to take the stage. Then the Lauren Mink Band that will take the stage tonight as well. And I'll tell you, folks out here today have absolutely turned this into a phenomenal looking place. So come on out here. You're going to have good music starting at six. You're going to have some beverages of your choice. You got food, anything you want. Uh, and they're going to be rocking it out here tonight and tomorrow night, every Friday and Saturday night, right on through the month of August. Lakeside Live. Let's get into the weather part of the program. Folks out here are thanking me for a nice weather evening. And I say, you know what? We're lucky it's not last night. Take a look outside. Let's see what is going on now in terms of the overall conditions and temperatures uh, compared to this time yesterday there's a lot of blue on the map we are 10 to 15 degrees cooler into much of central and eastern kentucky than at the same point yesterday that means temperatures right now are generally running into the upper 70s to low 80s depending on where you are eastern kentucky maybe a spot or two a little cooler than that those weather cams from across the region showing a mix of sun and clouds the farther west that we go more clouds than sun across the eastern part of the area defender radar network is picking up on a couple of light rain showers into far eastern kentucky that stuff going against the grain as expected coming from east to west and that's a trend that'll carry us into the evening but as soon as the sun sets a lot of that shower action and it's not a whole lot that's out there by the way will begin to die out that hour by hour forecast as we make our way into saturday you want to talk about a superb day 80 to 85 for a high temperature tomorrow. Low humidity levels out there as well. And full sunshiny skies. Get out and enjoy. That is an order. Three day forecast. Let's break it down for you. Tomorrow looks really good. Sunday, we'll see temperatures inching up just a little bit into the mid and upper 80s. Still low humidity. Monday, right now, is the hottest day I see for the next week. I think we flirt with 90 degrees, mostly sunny skies, but winds that'll gust up ahead of a cold front. And that hour by hour forecast will track that gorgeous weekend that we have across the entire region. Plenty of sunshine out there tomorrow as we start things out into the upper uh, 50s to low 60s, depending on where you are. Afternoon temperatures again, 80 to 85 sunny skies. Nice Saturday evening transitions into a pleasant start to our Sunday. Clear skies out there as well with an afternoon temperature on Sunday that'll top out again mid and upper 80s by Monday morning back into the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. So uh, good looking weather. Uh, if you're getting out to do some yard work this weekend, it's going to be a nice one. Let me recommend you maybe put the yard work off a day or two because the weather is just too darn nice in my book to be doing too much in the yard outside of playing. Seven-day forecast as we roll through Monday. Temperatures make a run at 90. Middle of next week, we get a strong cold front in here on Tuesday. Some showers and some thunderstorms. And then look at the temperatures. Even cooler as we go toward Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We may have a couple of days, if not three, where temperatures are 80 degrees or below for a high. I think most folks will take that. It feels really good out here for folks who are coming out to Lakeside Live, Lexington Green, Nicholasville Road in Lexington. We are just a little over an hour and a half now from kicking off things with Point Seven and the Lauren Mink Band. Right now, let's get a check on traffic. It's always busy. Here's my man, Officer Don. A hey, couple of things happening, Chris. The outer loop of Man Award just before Helmsdale. There's a two-car crash that police are working there in the Hamburg area. That's slowing things down both directions uh, there. As far as Nicholasville Road, head out toward Lexington Green. No surprises between Southland Drive and the Circle Drive. Time to Nicholasville, still about 14 minutes. 75 looks good across the Quaysbury Bridge. Now back in the studio. Thank you, Don. It's a fun Friday night tradition, and it looks like tonight's weather will be just perfect for the festivities. It does. Deanne Stevens is out and about today with more on free Friday night flicks from Jacobson Park. Hey, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We're here at Jacobson Park. I'm making sure, thank you. I get a turn here playing with the girls, preparing for free Friday flicks. It's all yours, ladies. Uh, Mindy Stone is with us from Lexington Parks and Rec, and you guys have done this for how many years now? Gosh, this is probably like our 15th, 16th year. And it grows every single year. The screen grows, the amount of people that come. This is a fabulous family friendly event. It is. It's a wonderful event, and it's so much fun. It is fun. And let's talk about what all is offered because tonight you got a special movie. Tonight is our special movie. It's the Peanuts movie. So we are going to have Charlie Brown and Snoopy around and a great crowd. Come on, Charlie yeah. Brown and Snoopy. Step in here. You guys are featured uh, here tonight. For 
for the movie, and you guys all do all different kinds of movies throughout the summer. Activities kick off at about seven o'clock. What are some right. of those activities? Uh, free activities at seven o'clock. We've got tattoos, we've got a petting zoo, um, inflatables, moon bounces, obstacle course, and then of course um, all kinds of food and snacks you can purchase. And the kids can just bring a ball and play out here, right? Like we've got these girls doing here. Yes, they come out, they spread out their blankets, their chairs, get set up, and then it can just be playtime for the first few hours. Okay, Snoopy is on board tonight. You ready for this? Yeah, raising the roof on tonight's show. Girls, you can get the ball. It's okay. Uh, five, no, seven o'clock. Things kick off here at Jacobson Park over by Shelter Six. That's coming into the right as you come into the park. Nine o'clock is showtime tonight here for Free Friday Flicks. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about at Jacobson Park. Back to you guys. Oh, Charlie Brown's out here mm -hmm. dancing. Come on. Back to you. Back to you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Deanne. What a study says working out can do to your memory that's ahead in better living. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is a lot of money. <laughs> You've still got time to save big with smart bonus cash from Ford. Now get 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,750 cash and an extra thousand smart bonus cash on Fusion, Escape, and Focus. Ford, America's best selling brand with big savings. 0% financing for 60 months plus $1,750 cash and an extra thousand smart bonus cash. But supplies are limited. So hurry while selection is best and see your local Ford dealer today. Toyota South isn't the number one or number two volume Toyota store in the area. I'd like to be. But my dad told me a long time ago, it's not the number of cars you sell, it's the number of satisfied customers you have that makes a difference. We're not in the big city, which means we just have to work harder, we have to keep our overhead low so we continue to sell new Toyotas for less. Choose Toyota South on the bypass in Richmond. It's not too late to save 50 to 70% off name brand furniture at Suff's Furniture and Oriental Rugs as part of the estate sale of Albert Sandy Suffoletta continues. All of our inventory in Georgetown must be sold at great savings before this location is sold. And you can save at both the Georgetown and Nicholasville locations. Plus, every night both stores will be restocked from our warehouses until everything is sold. Our Georgetown store will be sold and we will continue to serve you at Suff's on Nicholasville Road. Hurry in for the best selection of fine furniture at Suff's estate inventory sale. What's your F4 for? It's for getting places you could never get to before. It's for going out of the town in style. It's for your honeydew list. It's for 34 MPG in the new RAV4 Hybrid. How far will you take it? The 2016 Toyota RAV4 with available all-wheel drive and more technology and safety features. Lease a RAV4 LE now for just $199 a month or this RAV4 Hybrid for only $229 a month. Toyota, let's go places. This new Rallies and Checkers Strawberry Smoothie is perfect for air conditioning my insides. That's heat busting goodness for a super chill price. Introducing fruit and cream smoothies and Kool Aid slushies. Rallies and Checkers. Fast foodies know the deal. Now it's time for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Swedish researchers have found that boys who are overweight as teenagers are more likely to develop heart failure in early middle age. Their study discovered a sharp increase in risk for teens with a body mass index starting at 20, which is still in the range considered normal. They say it shows the importance of maintaining a healthy body weight from an early age. The CDC reports more men are visiting family planning clinics, doubling their numbers in 11 years. Federal health officials say the trend is encouraging, but women still make up 90% of their clientele. The clinics offer contraceptives, pregnancy testing, cancer and STD screenings, as well as other services. And if you want to remember something, you might want to exercise. Researchers discovered that people who exercised four hours after learning new information remembered it better than those who exercised immediately or not at all. They're now working on figuring out why. While many parents are sending their kids to camp this summer, some are sending them for self-defense classes. Chris Martinez explains why. 
For self-defense teacher Jarrett Arthur, her youngest students are some of her best. You can teach confidence to a five-year-old. You can teach using your words and setting boundaries to a five-year-old, and they totally get it. She's seeing more parents enroll their kids at a very early age. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Arthur believes it's critical for children to learn how to defend themselves, and teaching them to speak up if something's wrong is paramount. What's really important is for kids to learn how to communicate effectively, how to set effective boundaries, how to stand up for themselves. Here's why. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children say more than 11,000 attempted abductions have been reported in the U.S. over the past decade, and girls are targeted more often than boys. No! Arthur says cell phones and the Internet are making it easier for online predators to reach kids. She urges parents to encourage their children to speak up when they feel uncomfortable with strangers or even people they know. A little sensation in your stomach and then you know something's wrong. Mom Kathy Card wants her daughters to know what to do if they run into trouble. I think if you're not teaching your children about it, you're doing them a disservice. This is a threat. And a couple of simple tools could be the key to keeping kids safe. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Now let's head to Chris for another check of the weather. Yeah, back here at Lakeside Live, Lexington Green, point seven, getting uh, ready, doing a little rehearsing here uh, for Lakeside Live. The kicks off at six o'clock this evening. Lauren Mink Band will be on stage as well. Absolutely great weather out here. I did have one sprinkle. About two minutes ago, one sprinkle, but uh, it doesn't even show up on our Defender Radar Network. That's how wimpy it is. And whatever's out there beginning to dissipate temperatures for the evening, mainly into the 70s. WKYT News at 4.30 as the music cranks starts right now.